The Jack Benny program. In a cigarette, it's the tobacco that counts. And Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. At 48, American. Yes, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. So round, so firm, so fully packed. So free and easy on the draw. L-S-M-F-T. 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 Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. So for your own real deep down smoking enjoyment, smoke that smoke of fine tobacco, Lucky Strike. Excuse me, this is Kenny Delmar. Excuse me, I have a special announcement to make. Herbert Tires and cigarettes are back. Good news for those who prefer a cork tip cigarette. Herbert Tires and his back, and there's something about them you like. Herbert Tires and his back after being made only for the armed forces. Yes, Herbert Tires and his back, that cork tip cigarette, Herbert Tires and, available now for you. Yes, Herbert Tires and his back, and remember, there's something about them you like. There's something about them you like. This is Kenny Delmar. I trust you will welcome home Herbert Tires and. There's something about them you like. The Lucky Strike Program, starring Van Johnson. Starring Jack Benny. <laughs> starring Van Johnson, with Mary Livingston, Phil Harris, Rochester, Dennis Day, Don Wilson. And yours truly, the pickle in the middle. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, and a happy mustard to you, too. Uh, say, Don, why is it that every time we have a guest star, you always... Hey, Jackson, don't worry about that now. We're on the air and Mary isn't here yet. Mary? Mary isn't here yet? Gee, that's funny. <laughs> Dennis, what are you laughing at? You said it was funny. <laughs> Dennis, when I said it was funny, I meant it was hard to believe. You understand? Well... Sure you do, kid. When Jackson says something funny, it's hard to believe. <laughs> Phil, stop being on my side, will you? you? Can't understand Mary not being here. She's never been late before. Maybe she overslept. Yeah, over. <laughs> well, I'm not going to wait any longer. I'll call her house. Hey, Mabel, what is it going to do? Mr. Benny's line is flashing. Yeah, I wonder what Saratoga Punk wants now. <laughs> I'll find out. Yes, Mr. Benny. Miss Livingston? Yes, I'll call her home immediately. He wants I should get him Mary Livingston. Oh. Um, and say, Mabel, that reminds me. You know me, I hate to trick gossip. But several times lately, I've heard a rumor about Mr. Benny and Miss Livingston. Oh, don't be silly, Gertrude. He's old enough to be her father. <laughs> That's the rumor I heard. <laughs> you know, Mabel, I can't figure out why Mary should be the light for today's program. They're having Van Johnson. Oh, boy, Van Johnson. Shangri-La with red hair. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't it be wonderful if he were to step in here this minute and bow low to us and say, would you two charming and beautiful ladies do me the honor of going dancing with me tonight, babe? <laughs> yeah, but as far as I'm concerned, I'd just as soon go out with men like Jack Benny. Why? Well, when a man like Benny tries to kiss you and you tell him to stop, and he stops, you don't feel so disappointed. <laughs> Ain't it the truth? Gosh, I'll never forget the time Jack asked me to come up to his apartment to show me his etching, and I went, Why, Mabel Flapsaddle. <laughs> Did you just see those etchings? 500 pictures of a man standing in a plantation holding up a big tobacco leaf. <laughs> well, once I went... Operator. Operator, how about my number? I'm ringing it now. Hello? Is Miss Livingston there? What? 
She left the house two hours ago. She... Oh, for heaven's sake, I should have known. Goodbye. What's wrong, Jackson? What's wrong? Mary's late because she went to pick up Van Johnson in her car. I didn't tell her to do that. What girl's seeing him, I don't know. Well, Jack, you've got to admit that he is handsome. All right, so am I. After all, what's Van Johnson got that I haven't got? Yeah, what's Van Johnson got that Mr. Benny hasn't got? Quiet, Dennis. You, they're not afraid to answer. <laughs> hmm, Van Johnson. You know, Jack, I, I don't want to brag, but I've heard plenty of people comparing me to him. Don, the van they were comparing you with had furniture sticking out of the house. <laughs> I can't understand why all the girls rave so much about Van Johnson. All right, so he's young. Wait another ten years when he gets to be my age. <laughs> He'll see. Would you uh, mind repeating that, Jackson? I said wait another ten years when Van Johnson gets to be my age. Well, I'm trying to figure out some way to answer that and keep it clean. <laughs> well, it can't be done, so forget it. Anyway, Mary and Van Johnson should be here by now. But then this is Sunday. There's probably a lot of traffic. <laughs> Am I driving too fast for you, Van? No, no, Mary. You're doing fine. <laughs> Gee, Mary, it sure is a nice drive from Beverly Hills to the studio. Yeah, I knew you'd enjoy the ride, so I took a little roundabout way. I'm glad you did. I've never seen San Diego before. <laughs> Would you like me to roll the window up, Mary? No, thanks. I like the wind. I was afraid it might blow your hair. You have such beautiful hair. Oh, Van, when you say things like that, I just get weak all over. <laughs> oh. Mary, look out! Gosh, didn't you see that bus? Yes, but I thought I could fly over it. I mean, fly around it. You better stop, Mary. The light just turned red. Oh, yeah. The lights are red. The violets are blue. If we run out of gas, who cares? Woo! I know, I know, Mary, but you'd better stop. You know, when I... Oh, excuse me, but I can't get a cab. Would you give me a lift as far as... Oh, no. It isn't. Oh! A 1946 Buick! <laughs> What a stall. If she'd have gotten in here, I'd have punched her right in the nose. <laughs> Say, Van, how do you happen to be a guest on Jack's program? Well, he made such an attractive offer, I couldn't turn it down. Jack made you an attractive offer? What was it? He said if I gave a good performance, he'd take me to see the outlaw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but no kidding, Van. How much is he paying you to be his guest? Well, as a matter of fact, I forgot to discuss money with him. Uh-oh. What's the matter? The Screen Actors Guild has a country home just for actors who forgot to discuss money with Jack. <laughs> oh, I don't care about the money anyway. You know, Mary, even if I don't get a cent, it'll be worth it just being on the same program with you. Oh, Van, do you really... Oh, well, I can carry you the rest of the way. Here we are, Van, Studio B. Hello, Jack. Here's Van Johnson. Well, well, hello, Van. Hello, Jack. Yeah, I'm glad you finally got here. Mary, I'll talk to you later. I, uh, I hope you appreciate my sending Mary over to pick you up. What? Why, Jack, Benny, of all... Mary. One more word out of you and the makeup, and he'll take that candle out of the window. <laughs> Van, I'd like you to meet our little group of thespians. Uh, this is Don Wilson. Well, he's the fattest little group of thespians I ever saw. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Don. Well, I'm certainly glad to meet you, Van. I've always admired your work in pictures. Thank you. And this is my orchestra leader, uh, Phil Harris. Hello, Phil. Hiya, bub. What do you hear from the Hannah Rents Company? <laughs> So you're Van Johnson, huh? Uh-huh. Tell me, Johnson, what makes all them dames so crazy about you? Oh, I don't know. I guess it's just sort of a psychological phenomenon. I'm dead. 
Phil, please. Okay, okay. I'm pleased to meet you, Van. I've always admired your acting. Well, thank you, Phil. I've always admired your music. Don't get sarcastic. <laughs> Look, Phil, Van was just trying to be nice. He really likes your music. Well, what does he like about it? All right, all right. Forget it. And Van, uh, Van, this is my uh, vocalist, Dennis Day. Glad to know you, Dennis. Did I swoon, Mr. Benny? No, no, Dennis. That's for girls. Uh, just say hello. Hello. And now, Van, I want to tell hey, you... Hey, Mr. Johnson. Yes, Dennis? My mother thinks you're wonderful in pictures. Well, thank you. She goes to see every picture you make. Well, I'm flattered. And now, Van, I want when to... When you smile, she breaks out in big red blotches. <laughs> Dennis. When she saw you in Thrill of a Romance, she came home and burned her wedding dress. That's enough, Dennis. That's enough. And now, Van, My I want... father got so mad, he broke all the stains in her girdle. <laughs> Now, Van, as I started... It's awful. You might break up our home. Oh, for heaven's sake. Look, Dennis, it's time for your song. Now, go ahead. What a business. My home's being broken up, and I have to sing. Yes, yes. Now, go ahead. Come over here, Van. I want to tell you about the sketch we're going to do. I hope Marvin likes it. Again to tell you, sung by Dennis Day. It's a wonderful song, Dennis, and you sang it beautifully. Yeah, and I can't understand it. My home's being broken up. It'll work out, kid. That really is a lovely song, and you did it beautifully. I, uh, I think it's a beautiful song, too, Jack, but I think the lyrics could be improved. Why, Don, what are you talking about? Those lyrics are simply wonderful. Oh, I know, Jack, but if I wrote the song, here's the way I would have done it. Uh, will you give me a little music, please, Phil? Okay, Dante. <laughs> I can't begin to tell you what luckies mean to me. For deep down smoking pleasure, they are grand. Oh, they are grand. <laughs> so please, my friends, remember, it's LSMFT. 
The finest, mildest smoke that's in the land. Oh, in the land. See, they're happy and my home's being broken up. <laughs> I make such pretty speeches about this cigarette. Uh, b -b -b the words I choose <laughs> would give you clues to what is your best bet. <laughs> they take the best tobacco the world has ever known. Oh, no. From way down south in Dixie, where it grows. In Dixie, Like you and me are smoking LSMFT. Puff away, puff away, puff away. where they got those gray uniforms. <laughs> and now, and now, ladies and gentlemen, oh, Van, Van, are you ready? You bet, Jack. Good. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in honor of our guest star, Van Johnson, who was recently seen in Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer's picture, Weekend at the Waldorf, for our feature attraction tonight, we will present our version of that same picture entitled, A Fortnit at the Acme Plaza. <laughs> Curtain music. The Acme Plaza Hotel. Outwardly calm, but within, a seething turmoil of emotion. Where mystery meets intrigue. Where intrigue meets romance. Where romance meets drama. Where drama meets grandpa. <laughs> yes, folks. The Acme Plaza. Hello, Acme Plaza, where the Riff meets the Raft. Sorry, Mr. Raft, Mr. Riff is out. <laughs> Acme Plaza, a good place to lose a weekend. There's a bottle in every chandelier. <laughs> One moment, I'll connect you. Hiya, cutie. Making any good connections lately? Well, well, if it isn't Sherlock Harris, the house detective. How does it feel to be a gumshoe? Now, hold it, baby. I may be a detective, but I ain't no gumshoe. You're not? No, not since I got this magnifying glass. I'm stepping over that stuff. <laughs> Oh, say, uh, Sherlock, what's the latest dope on that character in room 417? You know, the one who's suspected of killing 23 wives. Well, I'm working on that. As soon as we find the bodies, we'll be able to pin it on him. Uh, find the bodies? Where do you think he's hiding them? I don't know, but that rug in his room is getting awful lumpy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, folks, the Acme Plaza, where mystery meets suspense, where suspense meets romance, where gravel Gertie meets B.O. Plenty. Hello, Gertie. <laughs> The Acme Plaza. Yes, babe, when Sherlock Harris is on a case, he always finds out what's going on and gets uh, his... Excuse me, uh, uh, room 310 is calling. That's the big business tycoon, the one that owns all the railroads. Oh, yeah. I understand he's kind of sweet on you. Hello? Hello, baby. You know who this is? Yes, you're that great, big, important business tycoon. That's me, the one and only Martindale Schnook. <laughs> uh, what can I do for you, Schnooky? I want to know if you'll go out with me tonight. Well... I'll give you anything your little heart desires. I'm rich. I own railroads. Lots of railroads. The New York Central, Santa Fe, Baltimore, Ohio, the Southern Pacific, Union Pacific. I know, I know. You own all the railroads in the country. All except one. And they won't sell me that. I've got to have it. I've got to have it. Which railroad is that? The one that goes Bromoselta, 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 Bromoselta. <laughs> I'm crazy three ways. Well, Snooky, keep trying. I will. Goodbye. Bye. The one and only Martindale Snook in love with me. I wonder... Operator, would you please get me room 212? My name is Van Johnson. Uh, one moment, please. I'm sorry, but 212 doesn't... What are you staring at? You. Gosh, but you're beautiful. What? You're wonderful. The minute I, saw, I first saw you, I knew you were the one for me. Look, would you please go out with me tonight? No, no, no. Go away. You're not my type. You're not... Give me that again, will you? Would you please go out with me tonight? No, no, go away. You're not my... Yep, that's what it says here. <laughs> yes, folks, the Acme Plaza, where boy meets girl, where girl meets boy, 
where I once had a routine, but it was cut out at rehearsal. <laughs> the acne class. <laughs> Look, honey, I'm lonesome, and you're, you're so beautiful. Lonesome? Didn't you ever have a girl? Only once, but I gave her up. Her eyes were like two limpid pools. Two limpid pools? And why did you give her up? Her nose looked like a diving board. <laughs> oh, oh. Please forgive me. Please say that you'll go out with me. Well, I don't know. There's a big railroad man in this hotel who's in love with me. A railroad man? Well, don't you think it's time for a switch? <laughs> oh, Johnson, you've got a million freckles and a joke under every one of them. <laughs> what? Oh, forgive me. Well, I'm excited. I, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> but I do know that I, I want to marry you. Say that you'll be mine. I'm sorry, but I'll have to think it over. Think it over, think it over. That's what they all say. What's wrong with me? Why can't I get a girl? Why can't I... Uh, pardon me, operator. Uh, would you please ring Miss Lana Turner's room? Lana Turner? Yes, sir. Uh, take it on phone number three, please. Thank you. Hello, Lana? This is Van Jackson. <laughs> yes, yes, I know my voice sounds like honey dripping into your ear, but you always have to keep telling me that. What? No, I'm sorry, I can't take you out tonight. I know I promised you this afternoon, but I can't make it. Oh, now, Lana, don't feel that way. What? Lana, put down that gun. You will get over it. <laughs> I don't care if it is a water pistol. You'll drown yourself. <laughs> well, all right, call me next week. And stop sending me orchids. My room is full of them. Goodbye. Thank you, operator. Gee, imagine turning down a date with Lana Turner. Who is he? Uh, that's Van Jackson, the glamour boy. Gosh, I wish I could be like that. Well, you can't accomplish it overnight. He's been working on it for over 50 years. <laughs> well, do you think it might help me if I went over and talked to him? Yeah, sure. What have you got to lose? Uh, I beg your pardon, Mr. Jackson. Do you mind if I ask a favor of you? Why, no, no, no. Go right ahead. Well, I was standing over there by the switchboard, and I heard you talking to Lana Turner. Oh, good, good. I thought maybe I wasn't talking loud enough. <laughs> Uh, what's, uh, what's on your mind, son? Uh, I'm in love with that telephone operator, and I just can't get anywhere. I don't know what's the matter with me, but girls just don't seem to like me. They don't? No. Well, I can understand that, kid. Look at your face. You have too many freckles. Too many? Yes. Now, my complexion is perfectly clear. And look at your eyes. They have no expression. They haven't? No. Now, if you'll notice, my eyes sparkle. Yes, they do. And look at your hair. My hair? Yes. Now take mine. Thanks. Put that back! <laughs> Turn it around, I look silly and bang. <laughs> now listen, kid. The trouble with you is that you probably haven't got the right approach. You're too timid. If you want to take that telephone operator out tonight, you can't walk over and say, may I have a date? You got to go over there and say, listen, babe, you're going out with me tonight, see? We're going to the Macombo, and you're going to pay the... No, not the first time. <laughs> now, go ahead, walk over there and do as I tell you. I'll be right behind you. Gee, thanks, Mr. Jackson. Now, listen, babe. Huh? I've been strolling around here long enough. You're going out with me tonight, and that settles it. What? I said you're going out with me tonight, and we're going to the Macombo. Gee, the Macombo. Then can we go to the other places, too? Other places? You say you're not satisfied? You say you want more? Tell you what I'm going to do. Tell you what I'm going to do. Going to let you in on something hot. You'll be sure to win on what I've got. Looky, 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 you'll be fully guaranteed. Never to be lonely, tell you what I'm gonna do. Gonna lay it gently on the line. Say it sentimentally, please be mine. Hurry, 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 who can tell where this will lead? Baby, if you only knew. Here's a chance for a solid thing. Latch on, don't throw it away. Here's a heart, and I'll make delivery today. 
you say you're not satisfied, tell you what I'm gonna do. Gonna do the things you want me to. Be the one who brings the skies of blue. Nothing will be too good every day. A new good deed. Tell you what I'm gonna do. Gonna fall in love with you. Tell you what I'm gonna do. Gonna pick the shirts and ties you wear. Gonna change the way you part your hair. Under my direction, you can be perfection soon. Pardon me for living. Tell you what I'm gonna do. Gonna be the one who loves you most. Be the one who keeps me warm as toast. Nothing will be too good. Every day a new good deed. Tell you what I'm gonna do. Gonna fall in love. Gonna fall in love. Gonna fall in love with you. Yes, folks, everything happens at the Acme Plaza. You say you're not satisfied? You say you didn't like our play? You say you want more entertainment? Tell you what I'm going to do. Here's Mr. F.E. Boone of Lexington, Kentucky. <laughs> Take it away, F.E. <laughs> American. In a cigarette, it's the tobacco that counts. And Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. Yes, sir. LSMFT. Year after year, at market after market, the makers of Lucky Strike consistently select and buy that fine, that light, that naturally mild tobacco. Yes, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. Of course. LSMFT. Remember, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. And in a cigarette, it's the tobacco that counts. So smoke that smoke of fine tobacco, Lucky Strike. So round, so firm, so fully packed, so free and easy on the draw. The famous tobacco auctioneers heard on tonight's programmer, Mr. F.E. Boone of Lexington, Kentucky. At 49, 49, American. And Mr. L.A. Speed Riggs of Goldsboro, North Carolina. Russell Rysdale speaking for Lucky Strike. L-S-M-F-T, L-S-M-F-T, L-S-M-F-T. Yes, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. So for your own real deep down smoking enjoyment, smoke that smoke of fine tobacco, Lucky Strike. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, during this past week, our nation has been saluting Boys Club of America, the purpose of which is the social, physical, educational, vocational, and character development of boys from 8 to 20 years of age. Now, more than ever, we should look forward to building boys into better men, which is the motive of the Boys Clubs of America. There are roughly a quarter of a million members, and many prominent men and women serve on the board of directors. We can all help promote this fine organization by getting in touch with our local boys club of America. They need us. We need them. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the song I'm Gonna Fall in Love With You was written by Johnny Green and Ralph Blaine and sung for the first time by Mary and Van Johnson. Van Johnson appeared here tonight through the courtesy of MGM, producers of A.J. Cronin's The Green Years. Say, Van. Yeah, Jack? I meant to ask you, this picture, The Green Years, how how come that you're you're not in that one? Well, the leading man called for a man old enough to be my father. Oh. Uh, Say, Jack, now that I think about it... Oh, go count your freckles. (laughs) Good night. NBC, the national broadcasting company.